All right, YouTube, what is going on, guys? David Hammond, beautiful Mother Nature, somewhat. We're here with Jesse the man, and we have the car, chilling in the middle of the road. So, with that, guys, we're doing a tutorial all on car portrait photography, okay? So we're in location spot number one right now, just on this random road, hopefully no cars come. Let's get a B-roll clip, then the GoPro on my head, all the tips and tricks with this. Hope you enjoy, let's get it going. Alright guys, welcome back to another voiceover with the GoPro on my head. Now, we have pulled up for our location in the middle of this road, okay? And it actually worked out perfectly because exactly that, we were in the middle of the road, right? Of course, when you have a car, guys, you want access to a road. Like, you want to be able to drive a bit, you know, because it's the most relatable. Like, you usually don't you don't want to keep your car, let's just say, in a driveway the whole time. It's usually not as aesthetic. So, with that said, guys, our first shot here is of Jesse with the car in the middle of the road, right? It worked out beautifully because since we were able to place the car in the middle of the road, we were then able to have Jesse in the middle of the car, just adding a lot of symmetry, okay? Opposed to the car maybe being on the right side or the left side. It just doesn't look as good, you know what I mean? So, we're doing just that. Very simple, having Jesse getting full body shots, um, have the trunk open, really just a standard, clean, very relaxed relatable shot. The key here guys, and I think a lot of you are going to understand what I'm going to say, but with these photos, videos is relatability, okay? You got to think of shots that everyone can relate to, things that everyone's already done with their car, and especially with the car, guys, because it's so iconic. Like, all, I'm sure almost all of you guys, no, every single one of you guys listening to this voiceover has driven in a car, maybe drives a car, um, and with that, you've done certain things with your car, okay? So, things that are very relatable. So, now moving on to the next shoot idea or spot. As you can see here, I, I see this nice, big shadow that the car is emitting as you guys know obviously the sun is just really not working at our favor here so we had to play with it so you can see me crouching down trying to like I guess emulate to Jesse like I want you to chill right there right in the shade so we can get a nice even exposure on your face right so with this we had Jesse in the shadow full body I ended up using not only a 50 millimeter lens to really create a lot of bokeh but the reason I did that was because if you can see here we were able to create a sense of depth by using the side view mirror, okay, um, as a foreground and a background. And I think that's extremely iconic. I think you see that in a lot of photos, and it's something I'd recommend for you guys. Every time I do a photo shoot with a car as a prop, I always, always, always use the side view mirror as an out-of-focus frame. And you're actually going to see it many times in the in, in the video. And that's just because, one, it's so it's so simple. It's so iconic. Like, everyone's seen that. Everyone's right next to the, mirror, the side view mirror. It's something that we can all relate to again, right? So, after all the shots outside, the car we're not moving inside the car because with any car I mean you're gonna do both you're gonna stand outside and inside so really maximize that um, having Jesse sit inside the first thing we're doing of course him in the driver's seat is using frames okay so we have the window here he's rolled it down I'm just getting his face framed naturally between the window and the frame which uh, just worked out super nice so now back on the other side, using both. I mean, I think you guys kind of understand the pattern here. A lot of depth, a lot of framing, okay? Using the side view mirror and the door. You guys want to smack that door. Like, we stuck it out to really add a sense of depth. Um, just because it's more interesting. If everything's flat, it's boring, okay? And all right, guys, on to the final shot. Now, this was one landscape shot. I told Jesse, dude, we can get tons of portraits, no problem, but I want one, at least one, one wide landscape shot that kind of just wraps up and encapsulates, like, that, uh, sorry, encapsulates the whole vision, the whole vibe, everything that we just shot. So, we tried to shoot Jesse and the car. Um, guys, keep in mind, all these shoots are improv. I have no clue how they're going to turn out. So, little hint. 
was not working out from the front. The way the light was, I didn't like the silhouette. It just wasn't working. So we tried from the back here. Was it my favorite shot? I'm going to let you guys know now. No, it wasn't. But I think I think it worked. I think I'll post it to my Instagram. You can see right here, I'm placing Jesse right in the rule of thirds, right in the bottom left pocket, where I'm also balancing it out with the sun in the top right pocket, okay? Adding a little bit of symmetry, I guess you could say, from the uh, corners, okay? So we have the sun gleaming on Jesse. We have Jesse's dark little black figure in the bottom left with the car. Is it crazy? No. But I'm going to wrap it up here, guys, with this car portrait photography as your car is actually such a beautiful, really like magnificent little photo shoot spot. I've done this a few times now, and both times I have been extremely stoked with it. You guys can get as creative as you want. So I hope this can draw some little inspiration for you guys, maybe give you some ideas or things of shoots now that you can shoot with your car. You know, replicate the shots I've done here as I've replicated them from other people, and then you find your own style, you know? So that's kind of it, guys. I want to thank you all for watching. I hope this helped in some way. Use your car. It's a dope photo shoot location. Please don't take that for granted and i'll see you guys in the next video all right back to the outro peace and all right guys end of the video here with car portrait photography thank you so much for watching i hope that helped got the coffee here if you guys are interested in the videos i make being photography videography speaking all on the mindset the really the foundation of photography and videography guys i have courses and coaching okay i'm um, always linked down below the website david hammond visuals but I'd strongly recommend them. Check it out. There's an outdoor photography and an outdoor videography course. They go in depth, guys. They go deep. Coaching, all that. So that's it. I want to thank you guys for watching. Hope it helped. Hope you guys digged it. Go out there. Shoot. Grab your car. Go nuts. And I'll see you guys next video, right? With that, much love. Thanks for watching. Peace.